Today we are continuing our, our Kindness 101 series with Steve Hartman. In it, we share stories built around kindness and character and the people who have mastered those qualities. Today's lesson is listening. Steve and his kids introduce us to a man whose greatest gift isn't what he says out loud, but his kindness when he's not speaking. Good morning. I'm here with my daughter, Meryl. Hi, everyone. Today we're talking about not talking, or otherwise known as listening. Emmett at the dictionary desk. How would you define this word? For our purposes here, I would define listening as showing respect with your ears. Ooh, with your ears. Getting fancy with the definitions. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Listening is actually one of the best ways to show someone you care, or to make friends, which is kind of counterintuitive. Like, how could listening help you make friends? It's just nice to know someone's listening, that somebody cares, that somebody will always be there for you. And like to know that their opinion matters. Exactly. To prove the point, let's turn now to our library of great American role models and pull a story guaranteed to make you a better person. If only you listen. In St. Petersburg, Florida, when the sun rises, Al Nixon sets for his impromptu therapy sessions. How have you been? Are you surprised at what people tell you? Not anymore. Al isn't a trained therapist. I've been concerned. He actually works for the city water department. He's dismissing yeah. me. But in these early morning hours, he's a trusted confidant and counselor to whoever passes by. And I wrote to him and I said, Renee Rutstein is a regular. He knows everything about me. Did you feel weird sharing all your secrets to a guy on a bench? No, because he'll never judge me and he always shoots me straight. He's not judgmental and he takes you for who you are. Bernadette Dorset Mills says she has never met a wiser man. He's like the guiding force. At the same time, I don't hear you talking a lot. No. I just see a lot of nodding, like you're doing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of mm -hmm's. Listening is the number one skill all mankind needs to know how to do very well. Mm -hmm. A skill mm -hmm. he has clearly mastered. Mm -hmm. When Al started coming here seven years ago, the therapy was for him. He needed a quiet place to clear his head, and the last thing he wanted was to hear other people's problems. But then a woman he'd never met told him something he'll never forget. She said, every day I see you, I know everything is going to be okay. And that made me realize that when you speak to someone or you smile, you let them know I value you, and people pick that up. When I walk by, sometimes, you know, I don't even get a chance to chat with him because there are other people waiting in line. <laughs> in appreciation for always being there, Al's faithful put a plaque on his bench to a loving and loyal friend and a confidant to many forever and always. That was powerful. How can such a simple plaque be that powerful? When you express to someone you matter to me. They gave you back what you gave them. Everyone needs an Al. Good morning, sweetie. Even oh, Al. Have a great day. You too. Honey. Fortunately, I don't just have an Al. I have the Al. He joins us now. Hello. How's everyone doing? We're doing great, thank you. If people started talking less and listening more, how do you think it would change their lives? In my opinion, I think you learn when you speak less and listen more. How far away do people come to see you? From all over the country and different parts of the world. Why do you think people come from far and wide? They want selfies and they want to sit on the bench. They want to actually be on that bench with me. Do you think it helps you as much as it helps them? Yes, I think it helps me in the sense that I know what I'm meant to do. Yeah. To know your purpose is practically the meaning of life. You're a beautiful man. I know it probably makes you uncomfortable to say as many words as you had to today, but we really appreciate you talking with us. Thank you very much, and kindness matters, and one of the greatest ways you can show kindness is to care enough to listen. Great. Thank you so much, Al. You're welcome, Steve. You know, I find it helpful sometimes when I'm in a conversation to think of how many words I'm saying versus how many words the other person is saying. And I try to keep it to one word for me for every two words for them. And I think if everybody did that, the world would be a kinder place. 
wait a second, that wouldn't work out mathematically. Not everyone can do that. He needs to know when to listen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Until then, stay kind. I mean, there's so much wisdom tucked in that. When, when you listen, you learn more than when you're talking. I, I think that's true, and that's all I have to say about that. John to Tower told me, just listen, Gail. Gail! Say nothing. I'm just listening. Shh. <laughs>